Alrighty, so I wanted to start off <laughs> the week with a little bit of PvP, and uh, I really I'm <laughs> I'm skeptical because I I don't have Hendrickson fully awakened. We're gonna be trying out the the King team. Um, I honestly, if you guys skip the banner, congratulations, you made the right call. I don't really think this is a necessary unit to have. Plus, it's a lot of trouble because you have to not only upgrade King, but you have to upgrade Hendrickson as well because he's literally like the backbone of the team. Like if you don't have these two units on the same team, it really just doesn't work. So, um, well, I mean, I guess you could technically try to run somebody who has a debuff here or somebody, you know, else who has another like kind of debuff, I guess. So you could run three different debuffs, but Hendrickson just makes it so much easier because he has two cards and each of them are a different debuff so uh we're playing elite pvp just because um i don't want to mess up my record on ungeared right now we i mean the week just reset so it wouldn't even really be that bad but uh, i've been i've just been playing a lot of ungeared pvp lately for some reason so uh uh yeah we're running cc food because it's it's kind of important that you go first and you know with this team especially if you run into drolls or anything like that so uh yeah we're gonna queue up a little bit see how it goes so i'm really wondering i really like so i've only ran into one king team no i think it was two king teams and it was off camera uh while i was playing ungeared so we have sort of the standard team i feel like if they're smart they're just gonna go for for hendrickson first thing so i guess we need to go ahead and get all of our all of our debuffs on because honestly, I've I've not used King yet. This is the first time using him, so I'm very unfamiliar with how this whole thing works. So I'm gonna kind of figure it out as we play. Because honestly, like, although like I've watched other people use the team and I've seen them play with it, I really don't. It's hard for me to understand how stuff works just watching it. I have to kind of mess around with it a little bit. So let's hope we can. Uh, See how this goes. Okay, he's going for King instead of Hendrickson, which is nice because I think Hendrickson would have uh, taken quite a beating there. Um, so I guess we'll move these. I think we're gonna. Um, I think we're gonna hit her and then stun on Meliodas. Boom! Wow, that was pretty good damage. Okay. I've got some regular King uh, UR gear on my my King here, my uh, Festival King. So I'm not completely sure if it's the best kind of gear to use, but the, the UR set will kind of help boost some of his stats up. It's got 47,000 CC, so that's actually kind of nice. Haha, -ha, Ludo CL, ha 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 ha. <laughs> okay, so I'm not quite sure if you want to pop this thing first but uh, we're gonna try to pop it just in case and I could be completely misplaying here because I really don't understand how this works my king is 2-6 so the damage on that was pretty decent <laughs> okay okay uh, interesting okay so I've not actually read how this passive works, so let me look at that really quick and make sure that I know what I'm doing. But so far, I mean, it seems like I did the right thing. So, God, it's a whole text page. Enemies with two or more of the effects, Poison, Bleach, Shock, and Corrosion, become unable to remove debuffs using recovery skills. If there are three or more of the above debuffs, additional or additionally decrease one orb from the ultimate move gauge at the end of the ally's turn. Okay, so you go for the three so that way they can't keep uh, their ultimate gauge, which is kind of nice. And then inflicts damage equal to 330% of attack on all enemies, gains abyss effect, and takes 50% less damage for two turns. Gains abyss effect and takes... Wait, am I gaining abyss? Inflicts additional damage equal to 36% of the damage dealt on all enemies at the start of the turn. I don't know. The, it, that's weirded, like worded kind of weird for me. But uh, anyways, we'll just hop into the next match. Okay, so 
I just went up against an, es uh, an Estorosa team and lost because, uh, for one, uh, okay, uh, next match. Okay, so as I was saying, ooh, interesting. Um, I just went up against an Estorosa team and lost, but I think it was because I didn't realize that at the level two, what is happening? What is happening? Okay, so as I was saying, I went up against an Estorosa team and I lost because I didn't realize that level two Liz stun could have purged his debuffs and got rid of his stance and I'm dumb. So I could have prevented that the whole match, but I didn't know because I'm really dumb and it screwed me over and I lost. But you know, GG's to that guy. So this guy's CC is really low actually. He probably shouldn't be playing elite PVP just yet. But uh, hey, it is what it is. I'll get to see this sweet abyss damage. Oh boy. It's really, it's been a long time since I've actually seen the uh, mono red team being used here. Okay, we're gonna go for the ult here. Put up a shield, because why not? Because I really just want to use the ult. Don't forfeit on me, boy. Let me use this. I want to use it. So does it do... I guess technically this would do more damage if you had an extra debuff on, right? Like, if, so if I ran somebody with corrosion instead of Liz, would this do more damage? I mean, I know Liz is a lot better for utility. This is probably going to kill them by itself, which is going to be unfortunate. What you got for me, King? Show me the, show me the money. Okay, not quite. Okay, he's dead either way. Okay, well... Um, I don't know how to feel about this match because we literally just got like three forfeits in a row. No, it wasn't three forfeits. It was two forfeits in a row, but it was still a lot. Bam! God. He really does it like a truck. Very interesting. Okay, uh, I'm gonna buy another ticket because some of these matches have been kind of whack. So, uh, yeah. Okay, hopefully this is a good one because uh, close to CC. Okay, this might be a good one, unless he forfeits. Uh, okay, let's do the setup, I guess. See what we can do. I believe in you, man. I believe you can beat me. You got this. I do have these two, two heavy hitting cards. Wonder if we can try to take down. I mean, we could go for Lost Vein, but I don't know. That hurt a lot. God, that was not good. Um. I'm kind of hoping I don't know what my life steals like on this character, but I really hope it's decent because uh I need <laughs> I need to be able to get this ult off. It was okay. It wasn't too bad. He shouldn't have I mean, he's still got the single target card with Lost Vein, so there's still a chance I'm dead here, unfortunately. Here it comes. How many AOE cards does he have? I'm dead. Here it comes. Bump, bump, bump. God, what a man. What a genius. Absolute madman. God, what a fucking merge. 
Anyways, uh, yeah. GG's to that guy. Wow. Cannot believe. <laughs> he really destroyed me there. Um, dang it. I want to get one more good match in, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to queue up again. I don't know how I'll have to cut some of this video out, I think. Okay. So we got a droll team. So this is actually really interesting. It's blue droll, and he's level 60. So this is not going to be good. I was wanting another, like, good, like, even match, but... Not even really sure what he's going for with this team. Hmm. I mean, he's got red... Red Escanor. I mean, Green Gother's good on anything, I guess, but then this... What is this level 60 Droll? Drool. Hmm. I don't get it. What's the point in the heavy metal if I can literally just AOE everybody? I don't... I mean, that was kind of nice, I guess. Hmm. Um... Bam! So, I mean, if he gets rid of if he gets rid of Hendrickson right here, it could be still pretty good, I guess. Oh well, he gets rid of my ult as well. Hmm. Um, maybe this team isn't as bad as I thought it was. Kind of interesting. Uh, and I think we'll throw shield up, maybe. Unfortunately, all of my debuffs are going to go away, so that's a little unfortunate. Hmm. Kind of an interesting team comp. I'm actually, uh, I'm, I'm not hating on it. Definitely could be better. Okay, he's got Lost Vein in the sub, which is kind of weird. But he's still going to be kind of a threat, so... Hmm. Very interesting. Okay, he's about to hit uh, really hard right here, I think. God! Okay, I'm still not too worried about that, honestly. I think we'll just go for card draw right here. Not worried about that. Bam! Not too much. Could have been better. I'm gonna end up ranking up a lot of Lost Vane's cards. I'm really gonna be I'm gonna be really surprised. Like, I mean, he could beat me here, and that's kind of crazy with, like, a level 60 droll. Just the fact that he was able to uh, kind of taunt away from Escanor, which is very interesting. Dude, the ult is ridiculous. I hope this kills, actually. Nice. That should help quite a bit. Uh, he's probably going to put Dissolve on right here, for sure. Which is uh, a little unfortunate, because that means we're still not going to be able to get our ult. But, it is what it is. Okay. Oh, no. King, no! Whew! Wow, I, this guy is a genius. Um, he's got so much Gother card in his hand. I'm just gonna go for Gother, I guess. Hmm. I'm really like taken back by this team. It's kind of like kind of cool. I can't believe he, like, controlled me as much as he did. Okay. 
Okay, he's still got Gother cards, which is unfortunate. I think he's going to win here. I can't really do anything against it. Yeah. I don't know if he's going to use an AoE. No, he's just going to go ahead and go kill Liz here. Unfortunate. Damn, wow. Really good job. I'm very impressed. I don't know what to say. That was really cool, honestly. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I know that was kind of anticlimactic. We had two forfeits, uh, one loss that I'll probably end up getting cut out. And then, uh, yeah, we had a win at the very beginning and then that win against the guy with low CC, but uh, I don't know. That was, uh, I'll have to do a little bit more testing. We may end up coming back to this team a little bit later in the week, trying to mess with it a little bit uh, more, but uh, I don't know, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, feel free to subscribe for more content in the future, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So uh, yeah, see you then.